So today I am working out in my parents' home gym in their basement. I guess I'll just give you guys a little tour before I get into the workout. Oh, I'm pinning back. Okay, so to start off, we got this pull-up bar and it also has this pad so you can do a couple of different things on it. And then we have these adjustable dumbbells. They go up to 52 pounds, it looks like. Yeah. And then we have a squat rack. Well, it's like a multiple use rack. You can bench in it or squat in it. There's like a pull up bar. There's a little pulley system back here that you can use. It's like plate loaded. We also have these um, bumper plates. These things are really nice. They're usually super expensive, but my dad actually found them at a secondhand like sports store. They were made for a college originally, but this font right here wasn't the right font that they wanted. So they just got rid of them. So he got them for super cheap. There's quite a few of those. We have more dumbbells. These ones go up to, oh, 90 pounds. And then we have a bench press. We have a regular barbell too, but this is like a multi-grip bar, I guess. And then another barbell, and then a smaller barbell for curls or skull crushers or whatever you want to do it. Another old little barbell thing-ish. And yeah, that is the whole setup. It's pretty handy. I'll definitely be able to get a good workout in. Oh, my triceps. Okay. Solid warm up. I found this weight weight belt thing. I'm going to try to max out on pull-ups. I think it's it's chin-ups, right? Underhand. It's underhand because that's the only thing I can do. Okay, I have a 25 pound uh, plate on the belt. I'm gonna do one like this before I go up and wait. Oh God. Oh, it feels like it's gonna fall off of me. Okay. That was hard. I now have a 35 plate, 35 pound plate on. I'm gonna try it. Let's see. Oh God. Oh, it still feels like it's gonna fall off of me. Oh God, that was close. I don't know if I'll be able to go any heavier than that. 225s? 225s. Oh, I got a 45 plate on now. 40, God damn, I keep saying that. A 45 pound plate on now. Also, just so you know, the ceilings are low down here, so that's why I can't go quite all the way up because I literally smack my head into all this insulation. This is like making it so I can't breathe. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> no. <laughs> 35 is the max. <laughs> This is so heavy. I'm going to attempt to do some real like uh, regular pull-ups with a wider grip. Well, it's not gonna be wide, wide, but it's gonna be wider than what I was doing with my palms facing forward. And then I'm gonna do one round of chin-ups with body weight to burn out at the end. Nope, that's all, I can do three, that's about it. Now I'm going to do some chin-ups, but I'm gonna do it on this, because I can do like a more neutral grip. Also, I'm not, my performance is not exactly where it normally is because one, I haven't been eating well, I haven't been hitting my protein really, I've been eating like shit, and the time change is kind of messing me up, so I'm not sleeping the best and also I've been drinking. 
<laughs> and not really hydrating well enough after. So I'm definitely dehydrated. My nutrition isn't where I should be and my sleep isn't. So you will have to cut that out because I just picked my nose pretty much. It's so itchy. That's it. God damn. Feel so heavy today. Okay, now I'm going to do some barbell rows. I have 95 on the bar right now. I'm probably gonna go up to 115, but not 135 because I'm tired and lazy and I don't have pre-workout here. So it's a lot harder to get amped up for these workouts. Oh, my back. I've got 115 on the bar. I'm gonna do this probably quite a few reps. It's lighter, I normally do 135, but I'm still trying to like kind of deload this week-ish. It's mostly just trying to like give my spine a break from a bunch of heavy weight. I'm not really doing like a, a real deload. God damn. This basement is so cold. So I'm wearing my sweatshirt and my Crocs. <laughs> I don't think it's heated down here at all. This is the last set I'm gonna do of these. And then I might attempt to use the cable thing that's back here. We'll see. Now I'm gonna do these little like bent over, I don't know if you can see me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do these little like bent over cable row things. I saw Will Tennyson do them in his video once. So I do them once in a while. I don't know what they're called, but they give you a pretty good squeeze and a pretty good pump. Oh God. This cable though is like a little bit, a little bit sticky. Like it probably needs to be greased. So it's not the smoothest workout, but it'll work. Okay, now I am just going to do oh shit, some isolation curls with this, uh, it's the adjustable dumbbell. I have it set to 20 pounds. It's kind of like bulky though, so I don't know how it's gonna go. But I'm just gonna do a couple sets of these.
Ooh, ow. Oh, ow. Okay, I'm gonna do another set. I'm probably gonna try to push past failure with this one with my other hand. why these are like burning my biceps so bad. Maybe because I'm dehydrated, does that make it worse? My arms are on fire though. I think that's gonna be it for my workout. It wasn't really like a full back and bicep day, but my back got hit pretty well. My biceps kind of got hit during back, and then I just did two sets, like two slash pass failure some. I'm okay with that for a little vacation workout, especially where I'm like kind of deloading and chilling out a little bit. So I definitely got some stimulus, stimulus there, but nothing crazy. Okay. There's no ideal lighting down here because it's a basement, but I'll just get a couple. I don't know how it looked. 